I'll invest in a real bottle opener one day. Floral? Not like this one bit. So I did a video the other day about the Australian Download Festival and the way that they had organised the festival in general and how I felt it was doing a disservice to the metal community and all that sort of thing because, you know, they'd put Limp Bizkit, who haven't released an album in the last six years, at the top of the poster above other bands that have not only released albums in the last six years but albums that have charted in this particular country. Anyway, that aside, a lot of people on the internet uh, disagreed with that video and made themselves quite vocal in a bunch of Facebook comment sections because it got shared on some music news website or whatever and that resulted in a lot of people calling me nasty names accusing me of not being a proper metalhead because I don't like suicidal tendencies but the most interesting thing to come up was a lot of people suggesting that if I didn't like download which I never actually said that I should organize my own festival with a lineup that I do like that's a great idea I fucking love to organize a festival but I don't have the money to do so so I'm kind of stuck with you know what's available in the local area which got me thinking it's probably a good chance to point out a few festivals around Australia that you might not actually have heard of. The three festivals I'm going to talk about today are not huge. They're not going to have, you know, massive European festival style lineups. They're not going to have fucking a monomath on the main stage or whatever. These are very much a smaller grassroots festivals right now, starting in bars and fucking farmers' paddocks and that sort of thing. And that's fucking fine. Bloodstock started in a bar, as far as I know. Vakken started in a tiny farmer's field with one stage and like 10 bands and it only went for like one day or something like that. Now look at it. So if anything that gets me excited for the fact that these festivals could be at the ground floor of something that grows into be something really fucking cool. So I'd wholeheartedly encourage anyone that is able to to get along and check some of these bad boys out. The first festival I want to talk about is probably the smallest of all of them. It's only a one night affair in a bar in Australia's capital city of Canberra. Now this festival is called Quest Festival which straight off the bat is a really fucking good name for a festival and really tells you exactly what sort of music you're going to be expecting at this particular event. That is to say you're looking at your power metals, your folk metals, your viking metal, all that sort of cool ass shit which is right up my alley and has got me pretty fucking keen straight off the bat. Now the lineup isn't huge, it's only like 10 or 20 bands or something like that and it's going over the course of a sort of an afternoon or an evening so it's not a big overnight thing or whatever. But they seem to have gone out with getting everyone on board with this. Just look at this fucking poster. That is a really fucking cool poster. I love that D20 in the middle for a start. They're having a costume competition to try and encourage everyone to get into the fucking nerdiness of this whole thing, which I think is, again, really fucking great. I'm hoping to see lots of, like, wizards and orcs and hobbits and dragons and shit and generally looking forward to that. And they're going to have some door prizes for, like, games, fucking shit, I don't know. Lots of cool stuff there, I hope. Generally, it looks like they're putting a lot of effort into building this really cool vibe for what is essentially a very small bar-based festival. And all of this, for the bargain price of $15 if you buy beforehand or $20 at the door, I think that's a pretty good fucking deal if I do say so myself and I might actually make the trip. Next up we have a festival in the Hunter Valley which is just outside of Sydney for most people who watch these videos. So it's not that far from Sydney so pretty accessible for a lot of the population. Now this festival is called Thrashville. And don't let that name fucking fool you, there is, as far as I know, not any thrash bands on the bill, it's just a clever pun on the name of the town that the festival is held in, which is Dashville, so it makes sense, I guess. But it's definitely got a good solid punk and metal lineup, and it's getting me pretty excited because it's actually got enough bands to play for an entire day, which necessitates having to camp overnight at the festival site. And festival camping is available, which really gets me excited because camping is one of the best parts of the fucking festival, in my opinion. With a lineup like what they've got, I would not be surprised to see quite a few people coming this year. They've got Australian punk rock legends, Friends of Rom, headlining on the main stage, which is going to get a lot of people in on its own. They've also got King. Parrot playing, who I'm really fucking keen to see, and good old channel friends Trollhogan are gonna be there as well, putting down their own sort of wacky and slightly confusing show for everyone to enjoy. This festival is also bringing in like skateboarding and art demos and I think they might even be doing like some craft beers so I'm hoping to see some local beers and shit because the Hunter Valley is known for making like wine and beer and fuck or maybe not beer but they make wine should be able to make beer as well so hoping to see a lot of culinary treats 
to go along with this sweet music vibes happening around this festival and I'm just really fucking keen for this one. It's happening in January so hopefully I've got enough time to fucking get my shit together and actually get there but we'll see what happens. Last festival I'm going to talk about is probably the one that I feel has the most potential to be really fucking cool and spread itself into like a worldwide phenomenon like the European festivals that I talk about. A name that everyone knows as a festival to go to. And that's because this festival, unlike the other ones that I've been talking about that have all been on sort of main city centres on the east coast, this one is in some way really, I find quite interesting. It's a part of the country I've never been to and anyone who knows Australian geography will know the second I say the city it's in that that is a really interesting place to hold a festival because it is in Alice Springs, which if you're not familiar with Australian geography is pretty much right in the middle of the country, right in the middle of the desert. So this is an open air festival in the middle of the desert playing heavy metal and that's it. Now this festival is called Black and Open Air and it is organised by, I think it's called the Black Wreath Collective. Now I think that's a record label based in Alice Springs who support like a lot of local metal acts. I didn't even know Alice Springs had a metal scene so that's fucking exciting news to find. And these guys with the festival are supporting their local acts, they're supporting other Australian acts and building up this really cool festival that apparently has been going for a few years now. They've had people coming from all fucking sorts of places to come to this festival as well. So that's really fucking cool. Now they haven't released the lineup yet so I can't say really any Anything about what's happening musically, but they did say on their Facebook that they've had over 170 bands apply to play at this festival, which is a fucking lot of bands. Obviously, they're not all going to be playing at the festival, but still, they're going to have a pretty rich pool to draw from, I'm feeling there. Now, they'll probably have a few bands from their own label playing there as well, which is actually really cool, because you probably actually get to hear some of the bands from the local area, which I am fucking all about. Now, this festival is also on in March, but unlike Download, it's on a weekend that makes sense. It's on over the Easter long weekend, apparently traditionally happens over the Easter long weekend every year, which makes perfect fucking sense because Alice Springs is in the middle of fucking nowhere and it will take a day to get there and a day to get back. So putting it on a weekend with a public holiday at each end just fucking makes sense. I really don't know why Download didn't do that, but I'm kind of glad they didn't because it means more people are going to want to go to fucking black and open air as well. So if you are in a position to be able to get yourself to Central Australia over the Easter long weekend this year, fucking pop along to black and open air. I am seriously considering it, but Alice Springs is really fucking far away from where I live and it's probably going to cost me over a thousand dollars just to get there. So yeah. Yeah, might not be seeing me there this year, but I do hope to get there eventually. This video was a bit rushed today, um, but that was a few festivals coming up around Australia that I'm certainly interested in going to. Now, like I said, this video was a bit rushed today. The day I normally film these videos, it uh, just torrentially poured with rain for like the whole day. And my house has a tin roof, so you couldn't actually hear anything I was saying, so I had to give up and try again today, which means I've been on a bit of a tight schedule time-wise, so I do apologise for the drop in quality, if it's noticeable. If you like the video anyway, though, you can click the old like button or leave a comment down below. I've also got the old Facebook and Instagram that you can check out if you feel so inclined. Uh, I do plan on posting a bit more content on those to try and make them a little more interesting, but... Uh... No promises on that yet. Otherwise, if you haven't done so already, you can click on the subscribe button or you could watch some of the videos that I did in the past on one of these playlists here. Um, otherwise, I need to decide if I'm going to go to the shops and buy more beer or not.